gone before her time. Yeah, a shame. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. I'm sorry, I don't believe we met. I was a producer, Heidi. We haven't, I'm Wendy. Just a local admirer. I see. Will you be joining us back at her apartment for the Shiva? I haven't decided quite yet. Well, you're welcome if you'd like to. People should begin to arrive in about an hour. Thank you, perhaps I'll see you there. No, I'm just getting out of Shiva. Really? Who died? The host of Afternoon Delights, but I'm free, what's up? Frank is pitching my script, so we got tons of drinking to do tonight. Congrats, we should get a hold of Clark and meet up. I tried calling him before and didn't get an answer. He's not supposed to be working today, is he? Nope, we're both off. Oh, that's weird. I mean, I haven't seen him all day. Eh, I'm sure he's off gallivanting with some co-ed. I'll tell you what, I'll come over early and we can get started without him. Sounds good. I'll see you in a bit. You suck at this, you know that, right? Shut up. I used to kick your candy ass in college anyway. Being a bartender has increased my tolerance. God, one beard second farther and you would have missed. What the hell's a beard second? You don't know what a beard second is? No. There are 200 million beard seconds in a meter. I thought everybody knew that. Uh, you're full of way too much useless information, my friend. Whatever. Are you going to tell me what's going on between you and our friendly neighborhood bartender? Why, I don't know what you're talking about, good sir. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I know he took you to Jim's party last week, and I know that he walked you home. We had sex. No big deal. It was bound to happen anyway, right? Well, you guys have certainly been dancing around the subject long enough. So, are you guys in a relationship now? I don't know. I mean, it just happened. We even talked about it. Will you just shoot already? Okay, Jesus. Get your panties in a twist. Ben, it's Wendy. Clark didn't show up for work today. Have you seen him? Give me a call back. What the fuck is going on? Why don't you tell me? Well, look who decided to join the party. Fuck you. What timing. We're gonna play a little game of truth or dare. And the rules are simple. You either tell the truth, or you dare me to smack you around a little bit. What the hell is wrong with you, crazy bitch? <laughs> you lied to me the other day at the funeral, dear Wendy. A local admirer? <laughs> Wonder why you were really there? Now I've seen enough criminal minds to know that serial killers often return to the scene of the crime or tend to insert themselves in the investigation. And that got me thinking. So tell me, Wendy, were you inserting yourself? How I know you're not the killer. How many times the killer an actual close friend or confidant of the victim? Do you know how much pain a fork can cause, Wendy? Because I do. I had one impale itself into my foot once on set. Tell me where he is! Clark, your partner in crime. How many times? I'm not criminal. Please. Look, I'm really sorry about your friend. I am, but please, please, please don't kill me. I have this all figured out. First Linda, then her fiance, my Tony. She was engaged. Yes, she was engaged to my Tony. He was supposed to leave her and then he proposed! Now he's gone. Maybe there's a reason for that, you bitch. Ah! I need to think. Another afternoon delight. And cut. Alright, we're done for the day. You know, I think you're really starting to get the hang of this. 
What, you mean the whole not retching while I continually ingest cardboard? You know, some of us actually like this cardboard. Besides, the ratings are through the roof, even with the young male demographic. <laughs> and if costumes were a little less, well, restricting? Food shows can't all be about older ladies putting things into pots. Oh, and don't forget, tomorrow you have the food kitchen shoot, 10 a.m. I won't. Just email me the address. Okay. Girl, you're walking a thin line. Things have been hard enough with you in the dock these past few weeks as it is, and if you throw a strain in the mix, you could probably kiss Chris McCoe with the family goodbye. I'll give the bartender his milkshake and see where it goes from there. Well, kiddo, I, uh, I have to get going. I have a long night of paperwork ahead of me. Who is that? No one important. Just finalizing things for the soup kitchen shoot tomorrow. Isn't it a little bit late for business? It's show business, babe. I'm on call 24-7. Besides, I'm tired of work talk. I'm ready for a third round. Is that so? It is. It's been three days, and he still hasn't called. Who, Tony? No, well, yeah, Tony hasn't called since he walked out the other night either. But I might Clark. The bartender? Girl, forget about the bartender. Tony's a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You think maybe he could be getting cold feet before his next big move? Fancy dinners. Maybe he's gonna pop the question. Maybe. Call him. Sit him down, grab a drink, do whatever. Just try to reconnect and reassure. Maybe I should just give him his space. Call him. Wait, you mean like right now? Yes, right now. He's probably in class. Then leave a message. If you wanted to spend the rest of your life with this man, do something about it. All right, I'll give him a call. See you inside. Okay, see you later. Ben, it's Wendy. Clark didn't show up for work today. Have you seen him? Give me a call back. What the fuck is going on? Why don't you tell me? A strange new development tonight in what locals have been calling the Hartley Garden Slasher, due in most part to where the bodies have been found. Well, tonight, police have uncovered what appears to be the first male body tied to the slasher. They've released a few details, but we've learned that the victim is in his mid-20s. Thanks, Denise. Our prayers are with the victim's family. Shocking news tonight from the Urban Theater. Local school officials are being accused of invading the privacy of some of their students by remotely turning on their laptop webcams while the students were outside of school. The laptops have been given to students by the school district as part of an Clark was missing. Maybe he's tied to this. 